Hi everybody, my name is Michael and today I'm going to try and successfully boot up my Apple Macintosh 2CI computer. I received this computer a few years back for free. Nice. And I also um, received um, a lapis um, display monitor, which is a full page display monitor, kind of tall and external speakers because the internal speaker does not work. Um, the 2CI internal speaker does not work. It's an 18 year old computer. It was released, the release date was September 20th, 1989, so not everything's going to work perfectly, but everything else works fine besides the speaker. And it also comes, it also has a Apple ADB keyboard and mouse. ADB stands for Apple Desktop Bus, for those of you who don't know. And looking at the back here, um, there's the power button. I'm not sure what this port is for. If anybody can tell me on YouTube what this port is for, that would be really good. An SCSI port, a video out port, a printer port, a modem port, a audio out port, and two ADB ports. Looking at the inside, the built-in memory of this computer is 8 megabytes of RAM and the uh, total memory is 14 megabytes of RAM and I upgraded the hard drive I think it was a 40 or an 80 megabyte hard drive to 160 megabyte hard drive which is also an IBM hard drive and it's Apple logoed so and the old, the old hard drive had 6.0.4 on it and this one has 7.1 and I kind of upgraded that and it also has the uh, that's the Apple II CI ROM and that's an external that's the internal speaker that's not working because you know it's old um, I guess you could consider this a vintage computer and since it was made in 1989 it's about 18 years old and this is the Apple II CI cash card and this is supposedly boost the performance of the Macintosh 2CI. Some 2CIs came with it, others didn't. This one just happened to came with it. And they're selling for up to $40 on eBay just for this cash card right here you see alone. So that's pretty that's pretty neat to know that. And we're going to close up this case and see if we can successfully boot up this Macintosh 2CI computer because it hasn't been turned on in about two years so I have no idea if it's going to turn on so let's get started without um, let's get started turn it on startup tone the Apple 2CI has started up you can see here it is there's the happy Mac face. Welcome to Macintosh Connectix RAM doubler installed. You can see the screen probably better like that. It's a side view of it. There's the icon loading down right there. So there we have it. It's booting up correctly. And I also read today that if one were to move, um, well, Actually, I read this some time ago. If one were to remove the motherboard of the 2CI, the bottom of the case would have the signatures of the, I think it was the Apple development team, engraved at the bottom of the case. I'm not sure if that's true. That's just what I've read on the internet. Probably is true. I'll have to find out one of these days. Not today, though. And I've heard there also is an Easter egg hidden, or a secret hidden, in the Apple, well, there it goes, started up successfully. There's a secret I've heard that is hidden in the Apple 2CI ROM. I'm going to see if I can successfully do that. The zip drive is not connected or off. That's a program that was loaded on there. I have to take it off. Um, and I'm going to see if this secret in the Apple 2CI ROM actually works. And it's supposed to show a photo of the Apple 2CI development team, I think or the Apple development team. So they said to do this, first let's go to about this Macintosh. And it's a 2CI, of course, running system software 7.1. I 
built-in memory 8192K which equals 8 megabytes of RAM and total memory is 14336K which equals exactly 14 megabytes of RAM so let's exit out of there and let's go to control panel so it did boot up successfully that's just what I wanted to see and let's go to date and time now watch this. All right, January fourth, nineteen oh four. That's funny. I guess that's the default date. Now it says to set. I've read about the secret in the Apple II two C I ROM, and they said if you set it to September twentieth, nineteen eighty nine, which is the exact day the Apple II C I was released. So that's the release date. You exit, you exit out of control panels, and then you hit restart right here, and then you press the buttons on the keyboard, the Apple logo button, the option button, and C, I, all at the same time. While it's restarting, a picture of the development team is, should show up. So let's see if I can do this. Fingers are crossed. I'm going to reboot it right now. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. And a picture of the Apple development team was displayed. Now the picture is a little bit dark in the background because I've read that it was supposed to be a color photo and this obviously is a black and white monitor so that's a pretty neat photo though that's a pretty neat secret hidden in the 2CI ROM so we're gonna so that's to exit click the mouse so we're gonna click the mouse okay and then it's rebooting back again and again you would set the date at the date and time um, go to control panel and then at the date and time menu set the date to September 20th 1989 that's what I read and it worked and, and then restart and then press the keys the Apple logo key, the option key, C and I all at the same time while it's restarting and it should show a picture of the Apple development team so if you own a 2CI like I do why not try it out sometime it still works that is and who knows it should work and here it is loading coming back onto the desktop and after two years of not even being turned on safely stored though but anyway after two years of not being on it has booted correctly and this is a video of my Apple Macintosh 2CI computer with a Apple ADB keyboard, mouse, keyboard and mouse, lapis, full page external display monitor, and of course the speakers. Thanks for watching. Now let's shut it down. Thanks for watching once again.